Hey Jaime, just curious as to what won't lead you to the question of the day, and that leads me to a very interesting other question. You said boner. Who did? Bring back the old music. That's what this video is for. That's right, it's that time of the week. I am Jaime Rivera. This is Pocket Now, and this is the Pocket Now Daily Recap for last week. So on Monday, I asked you if you would like a Galaxy S6-like Galaxy Note 5, as the rumors are that uh, that's the way the design's going to be like. Uh, we have 566 comments, out of which Max Dio says, Yeah, going LG, no thank you. No expandable storage, no removable battery. Then what's the advantages? The effing stylus? And uh, yeah, I kind of agree. That was the whole purpose of the Note lineup ever since the change with the Galaxy lineup, so uh, sad, yeah. And another commenter says, I like the design of the X6, so I don't care if the Note 5 will get the same design, but uh, please, Samsung, don't take the ST card away, and I do agree with you. I wish that that would be the case, that there would be a way for expandable storage to still be part of the Note lineup. Technoblix says, looks like I'll be going with the Note 4. I'm really disappointed. Hell, I might even veer off the Note track and see what else is out there with expandable storage and a great camera. Ooh, that's going to be a tough one when it comes to the great camera, but uh, yeah, the LG G4 is out there. Then on Wednesday, we were making fun of Matt Bonner from the NBA because, uh, well, he blames an iPhone 6 Plus for his recent injury on the elbow. We have 749 comments out of which Tech1TV says, Well, Matt, if it was the Galaxy Mega, you would be in trouble. And can you imagine that? Then Hayden says, I think Apple should definitely shrink the bezels on the next Plus series of iPhones. And I do agree with you. Uh, there's nothing wrong with 5.5 inches on the display, but Apple does terrible bezels when it comes to the iPhone 6 Plus. Then Alex says, Elbow issues. Can stretch his hand around the phablet. Looks like if he's only used to handling small things. Cough, cough. That's what she said. On Wednesday, I asked you, how do you feel about Satya Nadella's Microsoft after letting go of 7,800 people, mostly from the Lumia lineup? We have uh, 518 comments out of which Morgan Crawford says, I was one of those Lumia employees that were cut. Definitely sucks to say the least. Maybe I'll go back to working at Apple like I used to and Morgan, I am really sorry. You would be the second person I know that was let go with this whole uh, recent restructuring, which is extremely stupid. And uh, hopefully Microsoft figures it out and hopefully Nokia wants to start back with the old employees because you guys did an amazing job in the past. And another commenter says, why buy out Nokia if you're not going going to maintain the hardware department. Wasteful and selfish. You bought a company just to take it down and the people that worked there, and I do agree with you, definitely. Nokia wasn't really fine, but they didn't need Microsoft to pull themselves back together. They're doing it again. And Irvin says, I feel like Nadella is really getting Microsoft's S together, focusing on what who matters the most and sticking the company's strategy, or stitching the company's strategy. Yes, I do agree with your point in the fact that Microsoft is focusing on key areas. I just wish they would have sold back Nokia or, I don't know, started a new company with their funding or something like that. That would have been a smart move. They've got the money. On Thursday, I asked you if you think that a rose gold iPhone with force touch technology would be enough for Apple to sell 90 million units, as those are the rumors. Uh, we have 661 comments out of which Nathan Jones says, Well, if Apple sells that many, I guess it's good news for Samsung as well. Sips T, and I... I'm trying to get your comment, dude. Then Shane Tom says, 12 megapixel camera. That is true competition for the G4 and S6. First touch iOS 9, 32 gig base model, and improved battery life would get me to buy my first iPhone. And uh, yeah, I think that these are the things that Apple would need to do, not necessarily just give us another color option. And Camila Santiago says, yay, I'm after the iPhone success. I'm tired of Android, been with Android since 2007. Time to give Apple a taste of my teeth. Question of the day for you to comment on below. Why do you think the iPhone is better than Android? It'll help me choose if I should buy an iPhone success. Thank you. I don't feel that the iPhone is better than Android, particularly the newer models like the LG G4 and Galaxy S6. The thing is, the iPhone is just more popular. People like it more because it's easier to use, or should I say more simplistic? Not easier to use, but yeah, more simplistic. And for most of the market, that is important. So it depends on your needs, really. I like the iPhone 6 a lot, but then again, that's just because I've been using iPhones for years. And finally, yes, on Friday, I asked you if you would uh, wait for the iPhone 6S Plus or with an early launch of the Note 5 make you want to go for the Note 5. 
We have 682 comments out of which Michael Jimenez says, Apple fans will not buy a Samsung product even if it was better than Sammy. They are Sammy haters. Um, no, not necessarily. And we've seen that happen in the past. People went crazy over the new Galaxy. The problem is they went back the iPhones. And another commenter says, I would pick the Note 5 over any phone. It is just perfect. And how do you know? You haven't even seen it yet. Then Jack Rhodes says, I'd wait for both phones to release, see the reviews, and pick one I prefer. And that is exactly what I am going to do as well. I have been both a Note user and an iPhone user. And uh, yeah, I think that the best approach is to wait for reviews, particularly because, uh, well, both phones are great. That's it for the Pocket Now Daily Recap. Thank you very much for watching. A couple of tips if you want your comments to be featured. Number one, keep them short. Number two, stick to the point. Number three, try to get some thumbs up. It helps us spot them a lot easier. You can also follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next week.